again, kind of like last year, you guys got a lot of guys coming back. I mean, there are some new faces, but for the most part, a lot of familiar faces. And I think the hype's as big this year as it was last year. So is there, is, is there, has there been anything different feeling-wise the last couple of months, you know, off-season compared to last year or more of the same or what? I think the biggest thing for us is, um, you know, we didn't fin finish last year on the note that, that we wanted to. Um, and there's a lot of uncertainty going into this year. You know, we were waiting on a waiver for Malik. We were waiting on a waiver for Isaiah. Um, you know, we knew we had Cottrell coming back, uh, Wally, Leon, uh, Houston, some good pieces. But um, really up until um, October, we didn't exactly know our roster. So I think the uncertainty going into this year, just, you know, trying to realize who is on our roster and how we're going to play. Um, but I'll tell you what, we've got six seniors that are, that are fired up to, to go to work every day. Um, and I think the hunger of not finishing the way that we knew we could have, whether it was injuries or this or that, you know, at the end of the day, we didn't get it done. And um, so, you know, I know we got six dudes that are fired up to come in and, and finish their career on the right note. Health was a huge factor last year. You know, he lost Isaiah before the season. He basically started three games into it. Malik had his problems down the stretch, and there was a slew of other injuries. Do you, I mean, obviously with, with certain injuries like Isaiah, you just can't avoid that. It's one of those things that, fluky things that happen. But do you coach more conservatively in practice this year, trying to keep everybody healthy? Or is that on the back of your mind? Or are you just going to go out there and play? No, I, I, I'll be honest, Zach, it's not. You know, we go out, we're going to play smash mouth, and, yeah. and we're going to be we're going to be tough. We're going to rebound. We're going to defend. Um, you know, um, we, we hope and pray that no one gets injured. <laughs> Um, but at the same time, it's just a game of basketball. It's physical. It's full contact. Yeah. Um, so you know, we, we got to use our advantages. We got one of the best rebounders in the country. Um, it's kind of our mo. It's who we are. So obviously, we take every precaution to keep our guys safe. But you know, I don't I don't think we've scaled back practice wise. I think we've been fully competitive and, and you know trying to put a good product out there. Cottrell is someone who we sat in this office last year, and not a lot of people knew about him, at least in this league. Transfer and. Hadn't really done anything yet, but, but you brought him up to me and said this is someone who, who, who's going to make a name for himself quickly. He did. Obviously, preseason player of the year this year. Um, to, 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 to bring back a team full of seniors, but to have him as kind of the centerpiece there, um, how much confidence does that give this team, knowing that you guys have, have that kind of big body there to build around? I, I think it's huge. I, I'll say it in front of him. I'll say it in front of the media. I'll say it in front of any, anybody. Um, Cottrell has a chance to be the best player in our league, hands down. And um, when, when we can get him on the floor out of foul trouble and, and dialed yeah. in, um, he's as good as there is. He's as good as I've coached. Um, and it's going to be on him to, to continue to get better every single day and, and be disciplined. And, and um, you know, I think it gives our, our other guys great confidence because they know, hey, we've got one of the guys down there that we can count on every night. Um, and it allows the other guys' jobs to, to, to be so much easier. So. Um, no question. He's a big part of what we're doing. I'd be lying to say he's not. Um, but but we, love, we love what he's brought his senior year so far. Cottrell, how do you think your game has and will improve, if that's possible, compared to what it was last year? Like, what do you want to do better this year than you did last year? And how can you bring it to the next level? Uh, I want to, like, make it to the tournament. So, yeah. So I'm going to do what it takes to, to go there. The finish this team had last year, obviously there was so many, so, so much hype and the expectations were so high and you go into the tournament and obviously it just didn't work out again for the second year in a row. How much motivation does that give yourself and these players, especially being seniors and knowing that you're running out of chances here? How much motivation does how last year ended give you guys going into this year? It gave us a lot as, as me, like, Knowing like what it takes to get there, and like it's just a, a learning point mm -hmm. like, last year, not to do next like, this year. Any more pressure on you this year? Like I said, you were kind of an unknown last year, and then that that went out the window pretty quickly. And I think everybody kind of knows who you are now. Do you expect uh, kind of any, any more pressure on yourself this year? Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they are honest about it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Malik, having someone like him to throw down to in the paint, it's got to make your, I mean, it's gonna makes your job pretty fun to do. For you to be able to come back this year, Coach mentioned you got the waiver, to be able to come back and, and get this thing one more shot, uh, you've got to be firing on all cylinders to start out, I would imagine. Yeah, um, no doubt. Uh, it's a, been a blessing uh, just having another opportunity.
opportunity to learn uh, as much as possible and to have another chance to make something big happen for, not only for, for the team but for the school and then for the for Daytona. So. Does it feel like you've been here for three years now? I feel like you just got here. You got back at least. Does it feel like it's been 30 years already? It's been longer than that. <laughs> been longer than that. Uh, how 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 tough was it for you last year? Obviously, I know that the end of the year didn't go the way anybody planned it. And uh, how, how how tough was it for you? And how important was it for you to be able to come back this year and give them their shot? Um, the past is the past. Yeah. You just gotta learn from it. Um, like Cole said, how experienced you know what what it had to take, what what we had to sacrifice as a team uh, shows that how much we gotta put in uh, to to play. Mm -hmm. and, um, I feel like this year is the opportunity to learn from the past and to help those young guys and help each other to, to know what it takes and not take no days off. So uh, it impact us tremendously. So this is the only way, this is the only way out is to um, take it day by day. Like mm -hmm. Coach said, try to win it every day. So for me as a leader, I, I just try to you know, encourage guys and win every day and worry about you know, everything will come itself. To get number two back on the court this year, after missing all but three games last year, I mean, especially for yourself, you guys out there, it's gotta, that's kind of make everybody's job a lot easier. Yeah, definitely. Uh, ID is one of the one of the fearless players I ever played with. Um, you know, he just brings so much positive and so much energy and so much uh, space into the floor that you know you, you don't know how to go. And mm -hmm. So, uh, with that bringing you know him back and you know with Trout with him, with Trout and, and myself and. Uh, other guys that could uh, inquire to mm -hmm. make our team uh, beneficial to, to reach to that ultimate goal is it's a blessing from God. Control, you never really got to play with Isaiah. I mean, three games last year, and that was it. So, I mean, how how dangerous can this team be with him on the court and you on the court at the same time now? Real dangerous. Because he can, like, two dominant players. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can guard that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I mean, Coach, you talk about that. I mean, obviously last year losing Isaiah was just a gut punch. I mean, he was, and he was one of the best players, if not the best, from, from two years ago. And last year, so much hype around him coming back. And and just talk about what it means to this team to be able to get him back and healthy and, and how has he looked the last couple of months with that rehab ACL. Well, I think, you know, one of the biggest things with Isaiah is he's extremely versatile. So, you know, he, he can shoot it, he can really, really pass it. Um, but when he gets really healthy, he can really guard, too. Um, but uh, the thing that no one really talks about is when we first got here, Malik, Patrell, and Isaiah were three of the first four players we signed. We thought they would all be seniors last year. Yeah. Now, for one reason or another, um, we've had the opportunity to coach them for three years. And so, although they haven't played a ton of minutes together, there's a lot of familiarity. Um, so, you know, in terms of bringing Zay back into the lineup, uh, he makes the game easier for other guys. I mean, and that's that's the number one thing. I'll say number two is is you know when you have that type of devastating injury, you have a lot of thoughts. You don't know if you're going to play again. And there's so I, I will say this is, is he is focused on winning. And is he 100% healthy? He's getting there. Um, you know, he's definitely able to go play uh, at a high level. But but we haven't seen the guy that, that he will ultimately become. And it's it's okay. It's a process. It's one day at a time. He's got five other seniors that we, you know if we don't talk about Leon Red, Wally Parks, yeah. Houston Smith then we're not doing our team justice because those are three guys right now that um, if I had to bet my paycheck, and, you know, I trust those dudes to, to go out and help us win games. And then you throw three dynamic pieces with Malik, Petro, mm -hmm. Isaiah. Um, that's a good group of six. And as we can get them playing more together, um, you know, I think we've got a chance to, to hopefully have our best year here.